Hey guys, it's MC Fix It here. We're going to be working on putting on a new toilet seat. This is a fairly simple process. This one used to have that soft close technology, but uh, now you see it doesn't. Uh, it's about 10 to 15 years old. It is time for a new one. So there's only one tool you really need is a Phillips screwdriver. Make sure it's a nice large one. Uh, then we are going with a Kohler brand and it is going to be the elongated. This does show you, you can kind of measure it there. Make sure to get the right color for whatever application you have. Let's go ahead and show you how to remove the old toilet seat. So what you're going to need to do is go ahead and flip both of these caps up and you'll see a Phillips. You're gonna go underneath and there is a nut. I hold it like this and go ahead and turn that to the left. And once you get it started, you only have to do a couple of turns on the top. The rest you can just go ahead and spin it down and out. These are quite long and you can see it does allow you to put a wrench on there but I would be very careful doing that. Uh, there is a good chance you will break that. It is cheap plastic. Go ahead and get the other side. Same concept. So, go ahead and get that one. I also like to wear gloves just because toilets are dirty. Even though this was a pretty clean toilet, that's still gross. It also might be helpful to have some kind of cleaner nearby where you can just clean this up. For when you put your new one on, it is nice and clean. Just like so. Voila. So go ahead and open up your box. So go ahead and pull it. It will come with a brand new nuts and bolts. You will want to make sure to use those. I always like to kind of dry fit to make sure it looks like it is going to fit well, and it does. And these ones are backwards, so these ones on this Kohler do flip this direction. So make sure you do kind of take note of that. Same concept, uh, except these ones don't have more of a bolt look, it has more of this look. And so you'll just hold on to this as you screw this down in and through. And I'm just going to get this hand tight for now. We will use a screwdriver here in a minute. So once you have that pretty close, you do want to go ahead and kind of line up your toilet seat. You can go ahead and even give it, you can see this is the soft close technology. It doesn't slam. But my main goal is making sure this is nice and lined up. I like that right there. We'll go ahead and tighten this down. You do not have to kill it. Be careful. This is all plastic. These are not metal anything. So tighten down, but don't overkill it. We'll go ahead and test it one more time. Make sure it looks symmetrical all the way around. Even the bottom one is a soft close. And that is a soft close. That is very nice when you have guests at your house or even your family so it's three in the morning and nobody is smacking toilet seats close both those lids and you're good i hope this video was helpful if you do have any comments go ahead and put them in the comment section down below thank you guys so much for watching hope you have a great day